Hey guys, we're going to be going back to um, Armor of Oppression Extreme for the budget run. Uh, this time we're going to be using only, um, you know, five star bases and below. We're not using any Neo Visions uh, base units and we're not using any STMRs and all that. Um, so this is the team we're going to use. The basics of the team are, you're going to want magical cover. You're going to want um, double mirage if possible. Single mirage technically is enough. Um, double is a lot safer. I would recommend that if you can. Um, some sources of double mirage are, uh, what's the guy's name? Renora. Um, Neo Visions Awakening Shadows got double mirage. Limited units are Kamari and Adam Jensen have double mirage. Uh, and there's other there's other units. Um, like you can use the LB of Illusionist Nicole. You can use. Um, the new Mazurka. There's a bunch of sources of double mirage. Um, just try to try to grab one if you can. Uh, and then a evasion provoker. We're gonna use Warrior of Light for that. Other than that, you just want the general mitigations, a way to restore your mana, and a way to dispel the boss and break the boss. The boss can be broken to magic and spirit. Um, it's a pretty much a magical only fight, whereas you want to bring just mages, and you want to use thunder or water mages if possible. We're gonna use Radiant Lightning Awakening. Um, but other good choices are Ibarra, Shuyi. You could also go off element with like, you know, Terra or something because she's just so strong. She just goes through the resistance anyway. Um, Starlight Elena should work fine if you, if you gear her for magic and use her water skills. You know, Neo Visions last well if you want to imbue him, etc. But here's the team we're going to use. We're going to use Cecil for covering magic. He's just got decent hit points and spirit. And the boss does paralyze as well, by the way. So you want you want kind of immunity to paralyze from either gear or a buff. So here is Warrior. I'm sorry, Cecil's gear. Um, we're using a lot of auto buffing for um, auto shell, auto protect. It's really convenient with the new green magic update. I recommend you put those on your team. It's just really helpful. Warrior Light is going to be our evasion passive provoker. He's using the Mogul plushie. This um, gives him passive provoke. It's a permanent item, so everyone should have this at this point. Uh, he's full evasion, you know, just cheap gear. We gave him dual cast so he can help out with healing, wisdom of Hess for the permanent buff, etc. There, there's no elements here, so resist resistances are not important. Here's Renora. He's going to be our source of um, uh, double mirage. He's also going to do things like general mitigation and um, stat buffing. And uh, he also does human mitigation, which is kind of useful because the boss is a human. So there's his setup. Um, healing Avatar Lid is going to be our breaker. I'm choosing her because she can do perfect dispel on a really short cooldown. The boss does buff himself pretty often, so we're going to use her to perfect dispel as often as possible. Other than that, just some LB fill, etc. She's got um, you know status immunity or paralyzed immunity. And then Radiant Lightning base form, just using the auto buffing. Shift form, we're going to be geared for human killer and magic. There we go. No STMRs, all cheap gear. Um, we are using Saul's card though, and then maxed out on Human Killer. And the friend we're taking um, is Raster. Uh, unfortunately, he is not using any auto buff gear, so we're not going to have that. It's probably going to be fine, we're going to see. But he is geared properly on the shift form. Lots of um, Human Killer is geared for the trial. Very nice. So we're going to be maxed out Human Killer. Yep. Let's go and see how it, how it works. Now the only mana regen on this team is Cecil to um, use his dark mana regen skill. That's probably gonna be enough. Like overall, this this fight is is pretty simple. But we'll see. So we're gonna shift the lightnings on turn one. Let's see, for this first turn, Cecil is going to cover and go into dark stance. Warrior of Light um, doesn't have a ton to do this turn, honestly. I guess he'll do his LB for a big defense buff and barrier. All right, Renora is gonna double Mirage and we'll go ahead and use his um, his cooldown for general mitigation. Let's see, Healing Avatar Lid will break and I don't use her a ton. I'm still figure, figuring out her skills. Uh, that's perfect to spell. We don't wanna use that quite yet. We don't really need to do that either. We don't really need that. We don't need this. Um, I guess we'll just do her on-demand breaks. Which seems fine. Hopefully we'll see, I guess. And then we're going to Energized, um, Buster, and then Thunder. Friend is going to Energized and just... Oh, he didn't level her skills. You're killing me, bro. 
You gear for the trouble, but you don't level your skills. What's going on? All right, so that was mostly a setup turn. We've now got um, lids break ready to go, so the boss will be. Uh, yeah, as you see, the boss does like no damage. Look at that. Cecil didn't even didn't even break the barrier on Cecil. He is he is gonna do more damage later in the fight. By the way, when um, he starts getting buffs, but it's still not gonna be that bad. Let's go ahead and do a bigger break. Um, Lightning will quad cast Buster Thunder. Friend with no leveled skills will quad cast Buster Thunder. Um, I want to do anything else first. Not really. Let's go ahead and do some damage here. All right, we are really running out of mana quickly here, so we're gonna just triple cast. Um, Mana regen right here. Let's see. We'll cure Raja. Renora will double mirage. And let's do human mitigation. Alright. We might just stay in dark stance with Cecil so he can uh, mana regen every turn. Because it seems like we're going to need it. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do our damage again. Definitely slower than using um, Shu Yi, but we're okay. Uh, let's go ahead and double, triple mana regen to sustain our DPS. I um, guess we're liking this heal again, and Renora can. We don't need Mirage again this turn, so we'll just do this. And then Lid can, um, does she have anything? Can she refill mana? She can refill mana. Look at that. We're just all in for the mana regen here. You know what I probably should do is the Limit Burst on Lightning for the, uh, the better Imperil. We'll go ahead and use her Magnus to power her up, and then we'll do a Limit Burst next turn. Alright, let's go ahead and break again. Let's do one, two, three, and Claire. We'll do one, two, three. I'm tempted to just retreat and find someone that leveled their skills, but we're gonna keep going. Alright, um, see, so I think we need a cover again. Let's see, cover, and then just mana regen twice. Uh, Warrior of Light. I guess we'll just do this again. And then Renora, let's do double conductor and protect the passengers. So once the boss goes below 50, he's going to start doing um, mana, uh, mana drains and stuff and buffing. Gets a, little bit, gets a little bit trickier. But we've got 15 turns of wind. It should be no problem. And maybe I should have brought someone other than Cecil because his countering is a headache. All right, let's go ahead and LB here for the Imperil. Oh, we got him below 50. I kind of would have rather to stop at like 51 to get another free turn, but whatever. So we'll just Lotus Bud twice for mana refill. Uh, we don't really need mana refill right there. Cecil will this, um, I guess Warrior of Light will this, and we'll start using the bigger buffs with Renora. We're going to double Conductor, and let's do a all clear ahead for a bigger human mitigation. I think the boss does, yeah, here's, here's the buffs and all that. And now the boss is buffing up and then doing attacks. This is going to hurt Cecil a lot more. I mean, a lot more being relative. He took... <laughs> 20% of his health. Big deal. But the boss is buffed at this point, as you can see here. So we got to start removing that. We're going to use a perfect spell with Lid here, because we just did a good Imperil, and we don't want to lose that. Uh, yeah, we're good on two turns on that. So let's go ahead and perfect a spell with Lid. And then just Mana Regen. So boss's buffs are gone, and now Radiant Lightning will uh, Buster Thunder four times. Go ahead and do this. 
Okay, another threshold. Um, Cecil will just mana regen twice and Paladins. Uh, Renora, let's go ahead and do double Mirage and I don't know what else. Something. Stat buff, I guess. I don't know. Alright, and then Warrior of Light. We'll just cure Rager here. Uh, I think the boss did a... Yeah, he buffed again, and we don't have perfect dispel this turn. So this is going to be a little bit of an irritation. We're going to have to dispel the boss completely, and then, then re-debuff him. Alright, Cecil, chill. Alright, before we do anything, let's have Cecil triple mana regen to sustain our mana. Let's have Warrior Blight dual cast. He's on Carbuncle, by the way. We're going to dispel the boss. And then Cure Aja. Wait for Cecil to finish. We've got to heal him back up. Alright, we're going to dispel the boss completely. Then we will break him again. Um, we need to re-imperil. We're going to Energize, Buster Impulse, and Buster Thunder. Energized Impulse, Thunder. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, Renora, we need... Double Mirage, and I guess we'll do Human Mitigation with Railway Crossing Human. I'd like to get Renora's Limit Burst at some point, but I think we kind of have to Mirage almost every turn at this point. Yeah, he's doing... There's a Double Reaper. Uh, did the boss buff up? He did not. How's our Perfect Dispel looking? Two turns? Alright, we're going we're gonna to wait. I'm thinking... No, we're going to Buster Thunder three times and Claire's Saber. Yeah, we're going to Buster Thunder three times and Claire's Saber. The friend has just no mana. We might have pushed the threshold again. I don't actually know. Um, let's go ahead and Lotus Bud twice. Cecil. It's Dark Recovery three times. Uh, Warrior of Light, we're going to have to heal him up. We'll just cure Rage, uh, Renora, um, Double Conductor, and how about a Ready for Departure for bigger stat buff? Alright. There's some more Mana Drains. Um, I didn't see, did the boss buff himself right there? He might have, I didn't actually see. No, he didn't. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use an LB on Lightning this turn. Thankfully, it doesn't cost any mana. We'll also LB with you. LB, LB. Um, I think I think the boss did Reaper last turn. We need a Mirage again with Renora. Oh, we're going to win next turn. Pretty sure. I'm um, a double conductor, and let's let's uh, let's all clear ahead for the bigger mitigation. Um, Cecil, let's mana, mana, and cover, and then Warrior of Light will just cure Aja after Cecil's done killing himself. Okay, so turn ten clear with a super budget team, pretty good. Yeah, the boss buffed up again that turn. So we're going to take a little bit extra damage on Cecil. It's not going to be too bad. Yeah, it's... I mean, we're, we're not even using Cecil to stance change. We're literally just staying in dark stance for the mana regen every turn. And he's taking, like, nothing. This this trial's, this trial's a joke. All right, let's go ahead and perfect dispel that boss with Avatar's Lament. And then we will finish him off with Buster Thunder. All right, wait for this to finish, and there we go. Ten turn clear. Um, budget run. No, no, no STMR. Cheap gear. A bunch of five stars, and then a Neo Visions Awakening. The friend didn't even have his skills leveled. Uh, wasn't even using auto buffing, and it was still no problem at all. Okay, so there was the budget run. Hope it's been helpful. So again, you can swap out those units with you know whatever. Um, double Mirage, Magical Cover. Evasion Provoke, um, Breaking, and then either a Thunder or a Water Mage. Okay, so I will see you guys next time.